Everybody loves a good wedding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some people love it for the delicious food. Mm. Others like the free booze. Oh, oh yeah. Too. I personally enjoy watching the sentimental father-father dance oh, that happens. That. It's in the men's bathroom after the toasts. Mm. <laughs> Have you guys not? Uh, oh. I think that's the daddy-daddy dance. Two dads or yeah. the daddy-daddy? <laughs> oh, the two dads. It's oh. really sweet. Huh. And then kind of weird. But yeah. you know what? Even with all the happy memories, sometimes weddings can cause a little bit of drama. Oh, a yeah. little bit. And that's why one of our listeners emailed in for help. His name is David. David, you catch the father father dance? <laughs> uh, yeah, I did catch it. Oh, okay, good. Oh, wow. yeah, I hope they wash their hands. That's first. what he bought yeah. those dollar bills for. That's right. <laughs> dollar bills. So uh, tell us about why you emailed us. What's going on with you, man? So a close friend of mine got married a few weeks ago. She was the, the bride. Okay. Friends with her for years, and I knew she was kind of looking to save money for her wedding, and I offered to do their wedding photography for free. Oh, are you a photographer? Wow. Wow. Are you a professional photographer? Oh yeah, good question. I am. I'm I'm a professional photographer. I just recently actually opened a photography studio. Cool. Good for you, man. Wow. Yeah. So it was kind of a nice favor to her, but also kind of like a little business move for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Like get yourself started. Yeah, you usually get a couple of clients out of an event like that. All right. But that wasn't the main reason. I just was trying to help a friend, really. That's huge. That's mm -hmm. thousands of dollars that they're yeah. saving. I mean, that is a beautiful gift. So how did it go? Yeah. Uh, well, that's where I call you guys. Because uh -oh. what happened was the wedding day comes, and part of the reception took place. They got this big rental boat, this huge Ooh. boat that takes everybody out to the lake during sunset. Sweet. Oh, Party they, boat. Didn't, they didn't own the boat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds kind of cheap. Jeff, we did that with our fourth boat. Yeah. Yeah. But we okay. call it a yacht. <laughs> it was really beautiful. So we're all on the boat. The party's going on. I'm taking a bunch of pictures, of course. It's all happening pretty fast. And my memory card on well, my camera was going off saying, you know, my card was full. Mm -hmm. So time to change the card as you do. Yeah. And it's really kind of getting crazy and kind of dark. Uh, people are drinking. Somebody starts telling me, hey, they're about to cut the cake. You got to hurry up. So I start rushing, changing my SD card out. Mm -hmm. And somebody bumps me as I'm changing the card. No. And the card drops onto the railing and it slides right over the edge into the water. Oh, no. Oh. My heart Wait, dropped. no. The full card? The card with all of the pictures of the oh, actual no. ceremony. It had, it had the first look <gasps> at the beginning of the wedding. It had oh, no. their first dance. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, oh. The whole first part of the day. Oh, no. So what, did you jump in the water to get it? Or just kill yourself and just know you're never going to do it. <laughs> How are you going to find an SD card? Those things are so small. Yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't know what... I didn't want to tell them and spoil their whole wedding oh that's true what do you do if you tell but them right still, away but she's still in her dress go redo it redo yeah. it all. <laughs> hey guys uh, I don't want to sound weird but can we start from the very beginning yeah. <laughs> seriously yeah. I mean what did you do in that situation well I freaked out but mm -hmm. also at the same time was trying to be on the down low about it and act like everything was normal um, oh, God, that must have been so uh, hard. Oh, so no. I just kept taking whatever photos I can. I did get the tail end of the cake cutting and some dancing. Oh, and my God. It wasn't much, honestly. Oh, I just, uh, I, I honestly, I feel ill for you. Like, I, I feel yeah. sick. Oh, I like, mean, have I, you not been I able to sleep? I feel worse for the bride, personally. Uh, yeah. yeah. She doesn't know yet. Does she? Does she? Does she, does she wait, she doesn't know yet? She, I haven't talked to her yet. No. I mean, I didn't want to ruin their honeymoon and everything. They left the next day for their honeymoon. And... Oh, you're making us do the call. Okay. Oh, no. So that's what's happening right now. We're no. gonna we're gonna call the bride and oh. and let her know that you don't have most of the pictures from her wedding. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'd rather do it with you guys. Have you, ha, has she been asking about her pictures, her wedding pictures? Because most brides, like, want to see at least a little preview, you know, mm. like, within the week or whatever. Unless you're not really into, the, like, the whole wedding. It's a, good, oh. it's a good point, Jeffrey. Do you think the marriage will last? Yeah. <laughs> maybe she'll have another wedding. Exactly. <laughs> you can make up for it. <laughs> maybe you can tell her that you hired a very expensive singing trio to oh. sing the bad news. Hey. Like, your photos are gone. Photos are gone. Yes, 
What do you think about that, David? I don't know if I could afford a uh, singing group at this point. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, we're pretty expensive. <laughs> but it's a good idea. Well, okay, well, oh, we, we have a lot to think about. Please text uh, us. We need all the, everyone listening right now, we need all the suggestions we can get. I know. Uh, we're stressed. Yeah. 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 Forget the photographer. It. We're stressed right. about our jobs he now. He needs it. So we need help. <laughs> text him to 78592 if you have any suggestions. We're going to oh, give man. you some advice. And I've seen some pretty tragic things happen on a big boat before. <laughs> Oh, but, uh, don't this, music. this has got to be up there. Oh man, the uh, this is like the iceberg of oh, wait, man. Because what do you say to a new bride uh, after you accidentally drop the memory card with all of her uh, wedding photos oh, off the side of the boat? Yikes! That's what one of our listeners, David, is asking us today. Because he volunteered to be the photographer at his close friend's wedding. Used to be. <laughs> Used to be. Because now he's got to let her know, now that she's back from her honeymoon, uh -oh. how he lost all the photos from her big day. It hurts to hear it every time. What do you say to him? What's your uh, advice to well, David? I've been a bride before, David. Yeah. How is that? How is that? I'm just, I'm just thinking of how I would react, and there would be a lot of tears from me. Yeah. Um, I just think I don't, there's no good way to deliver this. I, I, I'm just sorry. You're telling me. No, you did a good job. It wasn't your fault. You delayed it. You didn't ruin her party. You didn't ruin her honeymoon. Maybe tell her in five years. Five years? Oh. <laughs> you know, when it's not as too soon. No, no, she's she's going to want the photos. Okay, just yeah. keep it simple. Apologize and just listen. Mm -hmm. Straightforward. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jose, do you have a better... I, advice? I feel like you just need to focus on the pictures you did take, bro. Like you said, you know, <laughs> yeah, after that... the cake cutting, right? <laughs> when you talk to her, tell her how excited you are. I got the best pictures of the cake and so much of the party afterwards. Oh. And uh, yeah, 90% of the other stuff didn't make it out, but <laughs> I got the party. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, mainly just pictures of people drunk in the dark. Oh, oh no. no. A bunch of drunk people in the dark? I want to buy those photos. <laughs> <laughs> Are you selling? Creepy. They have clothes on, Jeffrey. I mean, They're at the a focus wedding. Is... Mm, not in my eyes. <laughs> okay. But uh, I guess that's really the best that we have for you, David. And, uh, We're just here oh, for wow. moral support. Yeah, okay. I'm going to dial the bride, Grace, right now mm. and let you make your awkward Tuesday phone call to let her know you lost most of her wedding photos. Oh. All right, man? Yeah, you guys keep saying that I, I lost it, but I was bumped. So I'm going to yeah. tell her that it was an accident somebody you know hey, there's a lot of yeah. hips flying. I think the lesson it's is dead. don't do it by a railing yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right well here we go i'm down the number right now good luck man thank you <laughs> hello hey grace how's it going it's david <laughs> oh my god david hey how are you good how are you Holy sh**, honestly, you have no idea. You're not going to believe the last few weeks that we had. I mean, where do I start? So uh, during our flight to Cancun, there was like this severe tropical weather or whatever. So we couldn't take off. And then we had to stay our first honeymoon night in a disgusting airport. Oh, so, oh no. Yeah, no, it was just too much. I mean, we finally ended up making it to Mexico like the next day. And then we check in, we go to the beach and within the first hour of us being at the beach, no joke, Clint gets stung by a jellyfish. Oh, my God. Yeah, and, it's, and he's in bed for two days recovering from the stupid jellyfish attack, and we're just ordering room service. Oh, oh, I'm yeah, so Yeah, and then after that, while we were doing room service, guess who decides that he wants to try the weird hotel gazpacho? My husband, of course. So then we both end up getting food poisoning for the next four days. It was pretty much like the worst honeymoon that you could imagine. Oh, and you're kidding. I, wait, no, 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 wait. It gets way worse. When we get home, what do I find? My wedding dress. It was hanging on my closet door. And, well, my dog apparently thought it was a giant floating chew toy. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And then while we were gone, Olive pulled the dress off the hook and tore the whole thing up. Oh, I'm so sorry. To hear that. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was terrible. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess hopefully you'll have just good fate from here on out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully. That's what, all that I can hope for, right? Because my honeymoon was ruined and my dress is ruined. 
But um, yeah, that's my life right now. So how's yours going? What's up? Uh, not mine is not. I, there's it's not so good. They have. <laughs> Okay. I mean, you're, that sounds terrible, but I have something else that I need to tell you. Uh, uh, okay, what is it? Uh, so pretty much there was an accident that happened that I didn't tell you about. Um, okay, the, it out. what is it? During your reception on the boat, um, pretty much all of your, the, the first half, I would say of uh, the photos, uh, they got lost. Um, what? yeah, I'm, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I got, I was, so I was changing my memory card right before you guys cut the cake and uh, somebody bumped me from behind and the SD card went <laughs> over into the lake. And so pretty much everything from before the wedding, before you cut the wedding cake, I, I don't have, I didn't have backup yet of it, and I lost all those photos. <laughs> okay, you're you're kidding me, right? Uh, nope, that's, that's the truth. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, wait, 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 who is this, who are these other people on the line? What the hell is happening? Hey, hey Grace, um, you're on the radio right now on a morning what? show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Oh my God, um, I, what is going on? What's happening? Uh, well, I hate to pile on to what mm -hmm. sounded like a really bad few weeks for you here, oh but uh, you're doing something called an awkward Tuesday phone call, and that's fun I on the radio. It. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is a radio show, so this is a prank. This is all made up. This is yeah. not. Yeah. That's not. This, we do do prank calls on the yeah. show, but this is not one of them. What Clint said was the truth about your wedding photos. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You're telling me that what you just told me is true? That my photos are really gone from my wedding? I yes. I'm so sorry. I waited to tell you till now, but I thought that was the better thing to do at the moment. Um, at least. Okay. Well, I mean, my my wedding is still ruined. It's not gonna make it any better because you waited to tell me. Well, your wedding wasn't ruined. I mean, the honeymoon, it sounds like, kind of yeah. took ruined. a turn for the worse. But, you know, it's those moments that really bond you as a couple. Like, you can make it through that. You can make it through anything. <laughs> That's what Brooke huh. tells her husband through all the sad times in their life. One of the the, one of the best parts about having a big wedding is having all of the memories to look back yeah. on, remembering how great of a day it was, and now those are gone. What am I yeah. supposed to do? Well, you saw formal pictures. I'm sure your friends took some good cell phones. No, yeah. I mean, there's That's nothing. A good option. There's nothing you can say to make it better. You right can now, try right? and recreate the day over again and yeah, have him yeah, try again no with dress, more photos. Dress, <laughs> good, yeah, I can't even retake my wedding photos with my wedding dress because it's ruined. Yeah. Okay. You know what, yeah. though? Uh, you know what? Footage. You are handling this much better than I would. And you what, else, what else am I supposed to do at this point? Like, they're just gone. So I can't, like. I know. Okay. Well, so what if, what if, what if we could secure another wedding dress for you? Because I'm sure Brooke would be willing to lend you hers. <laughs> hey, Brooke. Yeah, I, Brooke. Nice of you. It's not really in style. I mean, I yes, she could have it. It's just, it's just old now. No, so I don't I've take that. It's like, her own yeah. <laughs> oh, hi, excuse me. Um, I don't know who you guys are at all. I don't, how do you know that the wedding dress is going to fit me? <laughs> That's I mean, true. Okay. Brooke is willing to pay for whatever it takes. <laughs> Alterations. To make That's sure. <laughs> I'm open to the idea, but to oh. be honest with you, no offense. I just need to see a picture of it first because okay. I don't want it to look tacky. Yeah. Know? Oh, we well, shouldn't send the picture. It's probably yeah. tacky. Yeah. But <laughs> it was a beautiful gown. Yes. It was a beautiful well, dress, oh, and it makes beautiful. your waist look tiny. Yeah, I mean, especially tiny after the Photoshop. <laughs> I, that was mean, Jeffrey. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> I did not photoshop my wedding pictures. I, if it makes you feel better, Grace, I mean, we'll do what we can. I mean, I'm definitely open to it. That's, I don't really have many other options. Can you imagine how romantic it's going to be when you get that seventh <laughs> first look? <laughs> You're going to want to capture that moment yeah, on camera, yeah. trust me. That's I just feel be... like she's going to have daggers in her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to photoshop a smile on my face and all that. <laughs>
All right, I hear you coming around a little bit, Grace. Uh, Grace, you're, you're handling this like a champ. You really are. Yeah. So you should be proud of yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, David, you, you feeling a little bit better about how this went? I mean, uh, thank you, Grace, for being understanding. I feel terrible still. Yeah. And if any.